not a powerful amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Before we sit down, I want us to make some prayers. There are some three prayers that I want us to make. Hallelujah. Amen. They are important. Uh -huh. We we have to pray those prayers. Hallelujah. Yes. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because today something must change. I don't know which door you want God to open for you today. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Because this week, it's a week of open doors. Amen. Ah, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shout, oh Lord, oh Lord, as I pray right now, as I pray right now, I open my door, I open my door of success, of success and, promotion and promotion in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Every demonic force, every demonic force fighting my progress, fighting my progress. I close its door. I close its in door in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. As I pray right now, as I pray right the now, doors of my success, the doors of my be success, opened by fire. Be opened by fire. The doors of my promotion, the doors of my Open by fire. Open, open by mouth fire. and pray that prayer quickly in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer right now. Let your doors be open. Let your doors be open. Let your doors be open. In the name of Jesus. Let your doors be open. Let your doors be open. That is bringing me doors of promotion. It's time for you to be promoted. It's high time you get promoted. It's high time you move from where you are to another level. Pray, 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 pray,
name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray that prayer right now. Oh, let the fire let of God locate those, those doors of doors. Those doors that the enemy has locked. Let the fire of God locate those doors and let them be open today in the name of Jesus. La Rabusha da Basakatara Kachikete, Riprata Prasata Rabushi Kataraba. Today, O oh Lord, let those doors be open. Today, O oh Lord, let each and every door that has been locked by the enemy be opened right now. Rato Pahate Prosheta Katia, Zikato Shati Kataraba, Me Prata Prosoti Kashakate, Zikla Prasande Reboshi Kato, Rata da Prosoti Shakatia. Pray, 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 pray. In, in the name of Jesus, Jesus name, amen. shout a breakthrough, amen. Amen. If you know that your doors are open, shout aloud, amen. Amen. Please, you may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I welcome you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Amen. Tell the person next to you, you are blessed to sit next to me. Hallelujah. Amen. Clap hands for your neighbor. Clippings for choir. Please, that's clippings for Jesus Christ. God is good. All the time. And all the time. God is good. I welcome you all in Jesus' name. And I believe that um, as you have come into the presence of God, you are not permitted to go home the same. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, I believe that after this session today, your, your life will truly turn for the best. Let us go into the word of the Lord. Second Chronicles chapter 20. Chapter 20. Chapter 20. I will not spend much time. Uh, I'll just talk to you about this story and then you will see a lot of things here. If you are there, shout, I am there. I am there. Second Chronicles chapter 20, it says in verse 1. Book of the Chronicles chapter 20, which is verse 1. It came to pass after this also that the children of Moab and the children uh, of Ammon and with them other beside the Ammonites came against Jehoshaphat to battle. Then they came some that told Jehoshaphat saying, There cometh a great multitude against thee from beyond the sea on the side of Syria this side on this side Syria and behold uh, they be in Hazar Zom Tamar which is Engedi hey these names and Jehoshaphat feared and set himself to seek the Lord and proclaimed a fast throughout Judah and uh, Judah gathered themselves together and asked help of the Lord even out of the cities of Judah, they came to seek the Lord. And Jehoshaphat stood in the congregation of Judah and Jerusalem in the house of the Lord before the new court, verse 6, and said, O Lord, God of our fathers, are not you God in heaven and rules not thou over all the kingdoms of the heathen and in thine hand is there is no power and might so that none is able to withstand thee are you not our God who did drive out the inhabitants of the land before the people of Israel and gave it to the seed of Abraham your friend forever hallelujah amen hallelujah amen tell the person next to you I'm blessed already I'm blessed already tell that person I'm blessed already I'm blessed already I want to teach you something quickly. I have realized something in life that for you to succeed in life you need a door 
Am I talking to you? You need a door that you can enter from a certain place to another place. That door can actually make you to enter into your prosperity land. God is truly opening up doors for you and I. Doors of opportunities. Doors of success. Doors of abundance. Doors of promotion. Those doors are opened. But the problem is, can you see the doors. The moment when you see a door, that's where you come in and celebrate and say, I have a testimony. If you don't see that door, you'll be stuck. Sometimes I learned something in life. Instead of you focusing on the door, because the door is yours what the enemy does is he opens another door for you other doors for you please hear me correctly here some doors are not from God some doors are from the enemy ah, you, you don't get this you are praying Lord I need marriage I want to give you an example here Lord, I need marriage. God knows that in two years to come, you will be married. The enemy says, no problem. Since you are too desperate, let me open up a door for you. Now you marry my Tyson. The one who will be beating you up and down, who does not sleep at home, who is always stressing you you go back to God why did you give me such a man but you are inquiring the wrong thing from God because it was not God who gave you that door whenever a door is open pray for that door God is this door from you don't just jump through that door. Please understand this, people of God. Many times we have blamed God for things that God did not intend you to be in. Hallelujah. Amen. Now you are crying because of the doors you entered by yourself. Maybe because of pressure and maybe sometimes because people are saying it's too late for you, rush. Entering a door is risky. Can I talk to you people? Right now if I say open that door and enter there, you are not sure are they dogs behind that door? What is it that is behind that door? You enter every door at your own risk. Uh, tell the person next to you entering into friendship is at your own risk entering into a relationship is your own risk so you need to understand this that's why when you open a gate in a, in a, in a place in town you always look around when you enter while you are entering you are looking around why are you looking around? Because you are afraid that there might be dogs here. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Here. So when you enter a door, be very sensitive some doors when you enter them I know now I'm in this level now but I have to be very alert because I don't know what can come up in this door they are physical and they are spiritual doors we all know doors in the physical realm they are doors in the spiritual realm mm. If you can make doors here on earth, in the spiritual realm, there are also doors that are there. You get to a door in the physical that you use a key. 
for you to open it. That door opens differently from this door, but they are both doors. The way you lock that door is different from the way you lock this door, but they are both doors. So in the realm of the spirit, the formula you use to open doors is not the same. You are using the same prayer for financial breakthrough. That's the same prayer you are using. You are using the same method for you to get a breakthrough in your career. It will not work because the doors are not the same. There are some doors which require you fasting and prayer. <laughs> Jesus told the disciples, He said this kind will not just go, but it can go only by prayer and fasting. Which means you have to open up a certain door for you to be able to do these things. Are you understanding this? Some doors, they are opened to you in your dream. You are sleeping. God shows you something. And then you take it for granted. Some people you need to wake up. When you see something good coming to you in the night, God has shown you a dream. Your door is already open. Wake up that moment. Start to pray at that moment. Now you sleep like a 2.5 Iwisa. When you, wake, when you are in, in that point when you are dreaming and you encounter a negative dream don't sleep until tomorrow morning wake up and say I cancel this dream in the name of Jesus don't accept things that's why I always have a fight with people on the club they come to me and tell me that every time I dream of a funeral it happens the reason why you have got a revelation of dreams is because you have to pray. You get what I'm saying? God cannot give you that grace. It's not, it's rare. Some people don't dream. So if you are having it, it's a door that God is opening for you so that when you see it, you have already listened to me. That door in the dream is making you to go ahead of time. God is opening up a tomb tomorrow for you. Amen. There are some dreams which you can be given. Tell people to prepare. Some you are told to pray about it. Some you are told to fast about it. Different categories. Some you are told to fast about it. Different Different categories. Every door that God gives to you, you are responsible for it. So if God gives you a door for finances, you are responsible for it. Whatever door God has actually given to you, make sure you use it wisely. Look at the person next to you and say, now I understand. Because of lack of knowledge, when other people get a dream, they don't want to exercise what they were dreaming. Because sometimes they are afraid. Hmm. Solomon had an encounter in a dream. Solomon God gave Solomon wisdom in a dream. The following morning when he woke up, he started exercising it. And people were surprised. His door of wisdom was opened via the dream department. Look at the person next to you and say, Do you remember the car you were driving in your dream? Just, 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 just. Why, why, why didn't you claim it? Look at the person next to you and say, Do you still remember the house you were in in a dream? In the spirit, you're already there. But in the physical, you need to make sure that you push to get to where your dream is showing you. If you cannot push to get there, you will be stuck and when you go to heaven, they will tell you, we already given you all these things. Why were you not enjoying them? Am I talking to somebody here? Never see something in a dream and ignore it. If I see something good in a dream, I wake up and say, I receive it by fire. 
Some of you are busy praying for things that God has answered for answered you already a long time ago. And you still want him to answer those prayers. How? He has already answered you. If Solomon woke up the following day and he said, Lord, send the prophet to lay hands on me, I need wisdom. God was going to say, Solomon, you are a mumu. Am I talking to you? There is something that you need to know. When you see something, in a dream you have actually opened the window of the future it's a door that has been opened the only person who has got power is not only the one who can see the door but the one who has got the key to the door that's why many times I can tell you something and you can confirm and you say it's true you saw it, yes it's true but what did you do about it? You, I was holding a lot of money. What did you do about it? Look at the person next to you and say ignorance. ignorance. It's the only mountain in your life. Am I talking to you? Amen. Now listen to me. When I put a door here, can you come here? If I put a door here, let's say this is a door. Can you stand here? Let's say this is a door. As look at me. Then. Now, let's say this is a door. I want to ask you a question. Who is inside and who is outside? You can't tell. Isn't it? But there is a door here. The thing is, you can't identify who is inside and who is outside. Can I tell you something? If I have got things that he wants, I'm the one inside. Amen. Am I talking to you? If I have got some things that he is looking for, which means I want to control this door. And apart from that, if I have got the key to open for him, I'm the one in control of this door. Now you need to ask yourself a question. Who is controlling your doors? There are some people who are saying today you have to be said. They lock the door of joy. Because you don't know how to open it. That's why Jesus said to Peter, now I'm giving you the keys. There's a, there a certain keys that you can be giving. It's not one. They are keys. Some Someone can choose to say, I want to make him uh, to be happy. They can open the door of happiness. Am I talking to you? So you are in control of the doors that are in your life. Don't allow somebody to open up a door of things that you don't want. Am I talking to you? Amen. So when you are there and the door is here, just know that you are the one responsible. I'm the one who can actually open it or close it. Please maybe see. Look at the person next to you and say, you need to. Be the owner. Be the owner of your doors. Tell that person, be the owner of your doors. Be the owner of your doors. The door of your destiny must be, must be your responsibility. So don't say tomorrow I have failed because of someone. No, you still have the keys. Am I talking to you? Whoever is controlling your life knows how to open the doors to your life. Am I talking to people? Listen, I, I told you, every time we meet, expect manna because I want you to understand deep things. There are doors that when you come close to them, they just open on their own accord. There are some areas where you don't need prayer. There are some places where you appear when you appear 
those doors will be opened. And then you'll be wondering how did how did this thing happen? I saw in the book of Acts a man called Peter was sleeping. The Bible says that while he was still thinking that he's still asleep, the doors of the prisons were being opened. The Bible says that the last gate, the gate of the city, it opened on its own accord. No prayer. Sometimes you are praying for some things. Sometimes you are busy fasting for some things which can open on their own. But you need to understand them. You need to identify them. My sister phoned me from UK. She was in trouble. There was something that was happening at her workplace. She phoned me and she said, hey, there is crisis here. Please go to the mountain. I said, for what? I ah, know there's a catch you hear my, my voice. I'm panicking. There's a crisis here. Can you please pray? Go to your altar. I said, I'm watching TV. And I'm eating now. So forget about fasting. No, but this situation needs fasting. I said it doesn't need a fasting. It needs you to relax. She didn't understand it. She thought that I'm actually blocking her. She said, but why are you saying that? I said, please, give it a day. Let's see. She was not comfortable, but after a day, the story turned around. Things changed. She came back to me. and said, other pastors were saying, fast for that situation. Then I said, the problem with your fasting is one. When you fast and you get a breakthrough, you think it was because of you. So God does not want to work where you think you are still able to do something. God will start to work for you if you are used useless and hopeless. The time when you are still able to do it, he will not come in. But the time when you say, Lord, I surrender all to you, that's where you will come in. I looked at the man called Jehoshaphat. The enemy saw an open door. In the book of 2 Chronicles, the one that we are reading, chapter 20. By the way, did I tell you the title of the message? It's called The Mysteries of the Open Doors. Listen, this one was on the other side. The enemy saw an open door and they said we can attack. Please understand this scripture. It will teach you how doors operate. The enemy can look at you and say okay your ears are open to gossip let us come and attack your eyes are open to adultery let us come and attack so the enemy was coming to attack Jehoshaphat knew that the army is coming because somebody told him that no there is an army coming they are not few but they are many they are coming to attack you you see anyone who has got an opportunity to attack they don't just attack you anyhow there is a door they are using <laughs> Look at the person next to you and say, Yeah, now I understand. Now I understand. We can lock these doors. Isn't it? We can lock these doors. But what can notify us if an enemy comes in? In the physical, we have an alarm system. It will make noise. But in the spiritual, we must have something that must tell us when the enemy is in the environment. Ask the person next how many tokoloshis are playing at your backyard? Ask how many tokoloshis are playing in your backyard? The enemy always checks. Listen to me, people of God. You can never be attacked if there's no open door. No, you cannot. Some people normally say, Lord, God knows my weakness. Run away from your weakness. I don't know it's my weakness. Every time I just find myself at my boyfriend's house, I can't eat I can't every time I always find myself drinking I, I, I don't know you know close that door there's one thing which I discovered is there anyone who know 
who have an idea of plumbing if you look at the guys who do plumbing they make sure that the sewage line and the sewage water line will not mix otherwise the tap will release sewage water so they make sure that those two they don't mix one thing that you need to understand is there is a door that brings sewage into your life close and lock and throw away the key for that door open up a door that brings life open the door that brings good things right now some, listen to me Amen. People can come to you but, but, and start to tell you other things. But, but, Identify which door but, the enemy is using oh, to so disturb so. my faith. Oh, I need to close that door. I need to make sure. Listen to me. Mame. Run away from such doors. Ah, can't you see that if you just drink just a little bit it will be fine this stress, you know stress, even if you smoke, just smoke a bit. Close that door. Tell the person next to you, just close it. Just close and it. And throw away the keys. And throw away Tell the, the keys. person, just close it. And throw away the keys. Sometimes, Many people have got an opportunity of seeing what is on the other side. You see your money on the other side. Not in the spirit, but in the physical. You see that there is my opportunity there. But the problem is few cross over to that side. Many are stuck on the other side. They just talk about it. But they've never enjoyed it. When other people are explaining to you how a Mercedes Benz is, it's like they were in it. They've never been in a Mercedes Benz. But they can tell you the specs. They can tell you how powerful it is. But they've never driven one. They can tell you, oh, in a marriage it's like this, they've never been there. Oh, ah. They can tell you how to budget. They can tell you about money. They are broke. Why? Because they see it, but they've never enjoyed it. After today, may you see it and enjoy it in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. In the book of 2 Kings, chapter 7, I saw a man. If you read that chapter, that man saw and was killed at the gate. He could not enjoy because he did not believe that God can change a situation overnight. Sometimes you see it in your dream and you ask yourself, ah, is it true? Ah, nah. Nah. Me. Hmm. You leave it like that. That's why sometimes you are not experiencing your open doors. Because you doubt yourself. Tell the person next to you, you doubt yourself. Why doubt? Ah, one room. Ah, You just give it. If man. I'm okay. To me, to me, I don't like cast. Cast, no, I have a problem. I'm sharp car 4 plus 1 with what my text. I just get in, no expense. Ah, <laughs> you don't have nothing. If you have it, you, you start to enter into certain doors. Tell the person next to you, don't limit yourself. Tell don't the person, don't yourself. limit yourself. Don't limit yourself. So I don't want you to have near success. You can see that I was almost there. But you were never there. I want you to enjoy those benefits. I'm not talking of next week. I'm talking of this week. You must enter into that realm. You must open that door. You must get inside that door. You must enjoy yourself in that door. In the name of Jesus. Some people are stuck at the gate. But Just at the door. The Go gate. and ask the man at the beautiful gate. Church is behind him. 
at the gate begging other people who are coming in when he was prayed for when he started walking he entered through that door he was found in church he knew that the moment when my promotion comes I have to get inside not to go outside Amen. we want to talk quickly about how Jehoshaphat the one that we are reading quickly in two minutes we want to speak about how Jehoshaphat succeeded in this battle right come here the enemy is coming. The enemy was coming that time. And was advancing. Come. Yeah, slowly. Was advancing. As the enemy was advancing. He was told that the enemy is coming. The enemy was on their way coming already. He did not say let me try and fight the enemy. As long as the enemy is using this entrance to come. Jehoshaphat had a plan. Number one thing that Jehoshaphat did, he had to open another door of seeking God and fasting. Am I, am I talking to you? He opened a certain door. The enemy is coming this direction. He ignored the enemy. Sometimes you are busy fighting the enemy instead of you leaving the enemy. Instead of you not focusing on the enemy. Open up a certain door. Door. In your house, there are many rooms. There is the bedroom, there is a the kitchen, there is something. So, if the your enemy is coming in the back room, open the kitchen door. Do something in the kitchen. Allow him to be coming. He started to seek God. There is a door of seeking God. I know they are fighting me. I know they are speaking bad about me. I know they are after my life. But let me not focus on them. He opened another door. He started praying. He started fasting. You see that door when you open it you are not doing anything else. You are seeking him. Do you there's a time where you don't even know what to pray but when you open that door you can just go oh God oh God that alone is a prayer oh Lord you don't even know what to say you are seeking him because he does not see your mouth he sees the heart when you are seeking, you are not seeking because of your mind. You are not coming before the Lord with grammar and too much English like Apostle. No, you are getting there seeking Him. That's why you end up seeking and fasting. Because when you are seeking Him, Listen, when you are when you know an enemy is coming, sometimes you lose appetite. Food can be there. He opened that door. He started seeking him. He started fasting. Because trouble was coming. There was already trouble there. And he, he heard that there are a lot. There are many. People, your enemies, they can gather if they see an opportunity to attack you. They don't come alone. They can come with other people that you are thinking they are with you. Listen, when it's trying to destroy you, you'll be shocked. The combination of people that can combine together just to destroy you, you'll be shocked. Even the ones you were feeding, even the ones that you gave money, even the ones that you were helping before, even the ones that you were cancelling before, when that time comes, you run away from them. You have to seek God. Open that door. Try to seek Him. I know they are after me, but I don't know what to do. I don't know what to answer them. I don't know how to fight them. I have to seek Him. That is why sometimes you discover we waste time 
Fighting other people. Responding to them. Trying to explain ourselves. Stop doing that. Leave them. Jehoshaphat did not fight them. He went to seek the Lord. That is the first thing that he did. And the second thing that Jehoshaphat did, he opened another door. Listen, when you run away from everyone, when you get it to the point of seeking him, what God reveals to you when you are in that place, it's your testimony. What happened? When, when David faced Goliath, what came to him was a testimony. Am I talking to you? Jehoshaphat got into a point where he reminded God, are you not the same God? You can remind God, listen to me, when the enemy is after you, go to your God and say, God, you rescued me from that accident. Do you remember that day? I thought I was dying from sickness, but you rescued me. You start to remind him that if it was not for you, where would I be? Be. If it was not for you, I could be dead by now. But you are still the God who is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Am I talking to church? He started telling God a testimony. Imagine, people are still coming. Armies are still coming. He is in the presence of God. People want to kill him. But he said, God, you are wonderful. You are the same God that rescued my father. I... Your family could be a mess by now. But he is there. People in your street could be laughing about your family today. But he was with you. Remind him. Don't say, look at my debts. Forget about the debts. Forget about those who are gossiping about you. Go before him. Like Jehoshaphat. Open that door of your testimonies. I was not working, Lord. You opened up a door for me. People were walking over me like a carpet. But you made me to sit on a higher table. Those who were laughing at me, now they are smiling at me. Those who were thinking I'm a nobody, you gave me grace. You gave me brains. You did not give me qualifications like others, but you gave me brains. Hey! This God can change your life. Show him your testimonies. Come to him and say, God, I don't have a medical aid. And I've never been in hospital. Others who have got money, listen to me, there are people that I'm seeing on TV with money, dying day by day. That's your testimony. You go before him. I'm not so special. I am a nobody. But you always take care of me. Am I talking to people here? You show him that what you are doing in my life is so great. The moment when you start to show him that, you are opening up a certain door. The door of testimonies. Only a few people are found there. Because many are complainers. Lord, I don't have food in my fridge. But thank you, I have a fridge. Others, they are even putting meat on a line. About 2,000 people, they don't know about that one. We used to put meat with salt on a line outside with some vinegar so that flies will not come because no fridge. It was not a design. We were not biltonging it. No, there was no fridge. So we used to hang it out so that it would dry. Am I talking to people here? Tell the person next to you have got a testimony that when you remind God you will silence your enemies. Tell that person you will silence your enemies. After the testimony number three, he opened another door. Listen, the enemy is still coming. He had opened 
two doors, he's now opening the third one. The third one was to surrender all. He, he surrendered all. Verse 17, that's the door that he opened on verse 17. He, he surrendered to God. To say, Lord, I, I cannot fight these people. I don't know even how to fight. I, my God. After all my testimonies, don't forget me in this one. Hallelujah. Amen. He actually, the answer that came on verse 17, he was told now that uh -uh, the battle is not yours. The battle is mine. Stand still. When you surrender to God, you don't open your mouth. You don't use your hands. You just stand still. Amen. He was told that this battle is not yours. Just relax. You have a problem, Manes. You can't stand still. You want to show them who you are. You want to give them the peace of your mind. Tell the person next to you, just sometimes you need to surrender all. Listen, people, there are some situations where we, we cannot solve them. There are some people we cannot change. There are some people that sometimes you, you feel like touching their tongue. Say, tongue, tongue, tongue. Some times you need to surrender. Surrender all to him. That's why it says, cast your cares and burdens unto him. You just cast your cares and burdens. Lord, I don't know how to deal with my children. I don't know how to deal with my finances. I don't know how to deal with my debts. I don't know how to deal with people that are speaking negatively. I surrender them to you. When you surrender them to, to, to God, don't think about it. Leave it to Him. Be still taller and know that He is God. I always remind God, Father, I see shame in front of me. You are a God that has never put me to shame. You cannot start today. I always see myself sliding through just by a simple prayer. God, just because of your name on my life, don't allow the enemy to celebrate. Am I talking to you? Tell the person who so the problem is you have never passed through that situation. So you can't understand this. But if you have passed through certain situations, you discover that you won those battles not because you were fighting, but God fought for you. Am I talking to you? He opened the fourth door. The door of praise. Verse 21. Verse 21. Instead of them going to fight the people, they said, No, let's praise him. Let's give glory to this God. When you come to church, open a door of praise. I know I've got too many people, but when choir is singing, let me lose my mind. Allow me to lose my mind because what I'm passing through, you will not understand it. So allow me to praise. Let me open that door. He opened the door of praise in verse 21. He started praising. The army is coming. The door has been opened for them to attack. But because of these four steps, something happened here. Because of the steps they took. Look at the person and tell that person, try it one day. The same door they were using to attack was the same door that made them to attack each other. 
you will hear news wait you this this week we will not if you are here right now watch this we are not going to reach sunday before they fight before your enemies come and confess I am telling you now we won't reach Sunday because the doors have been opened to your favor am I talking to you we will not we will not reach Sunday you will hear news they are going to confess it was not me it was him you did not ask anything they will start talking the Bible said the, the army started fighting. If you read that story, you'll be amazed. They just woke up. <laughs> this was said they stabbing this one. They started killing each other. They finished. They finished each other. All of them they died. Jehoshaphat did not even raise a hand. He did not even fight. But they fought each other. They killed each other with their muti with their muti they want to use against you they will fight each other with their things they are using they are going to attack each other this week not next week this week of open doors something will happen they started praising go home today don't make prayer look for a song Start to sing for your God. Forget about the issues. Forget about everything. Start to worship Him. Start to praise Him. Am I talking to you? That's how Jehoshaphat won this battle. His door of victory was opened in a mysterious way. It was not opened by the way we think it can be opened. It was opened in another dimension. In another way. I remember when we were that side. I was praying for people to get jobs. One lady was not having a CV. She was actually desperate for a job. And she said anything can come. That Sunday I prophesied to her. Then I said, Your job is coming. She did not understand where, how. I don't have a CV. Now the spiritual door is opened. That time it was already opened. Just because I spoke. Am I talking to you? Amen. Now her friend said to her, Please, can you accompany me? I need to go to the accountants somewhere in town. They, they are looking for someone. I want to submit my CV. She was not having a CV. No makeup. She went with a friend. As they were at the reception, listen, this is a true story. It happened. They were at the reception. The manager came out, manager out, looked at this other lady who is not having a CV and said, are you the one for the job? She said, no, it's my friend. Then the manager said, no, we want someone just like you. Listen, the friend looked at her. He said, and then <laughs> what is happening here? The friend who had a CV is not working. She got a job. Am I talking to you? When she came to church, she started giving a testimony. That they said, oh, I must start immediately. They wanted somebody who was just like me. I said, wow. That's God for you. Where he opens, no one can close. Where he closes, no one can open. We are talking of that God that is going to open up your blessings and close all the other doors that the enemy has opened for you. In the name of Jesus. Tell the person next to you, I, I'm tired of fighting. Tell the person, I'm tired. I don't have time actually. I need to praise God. That's why this coming Sunday is a special Sunday. We are going to praise God like we are crazy. Am I talking to you? This coming Sunday. No, they shall call Jeremiah Judah. 
We, we, we will be praising. Why? There is greater things that we are waiting for. After that praise, there shall be a series of open doors. After today, I don't want you to knock on doors. I want you to stand on doors so that they can open. If you are too far, they cannot open. Come close to those doors and you see them opening. That's your portion. In the name of Jesus, I say that is your portion. In the name of Jesus, I say that is your portion. In the name of Jesus, it has been opened. Amen. Yeah, it has been opened. Amen. I'm done. Amen. Revelation chapter five. John was told. Weep not, for the book is open. Weep not. You have been crying. You have been wondering. How can I do this? Weep not. There's a new, new story now. It's a new chapter in your life. If you believe it, shout, I believe. If you believe, shout, I believe. I believe. I say, if you believe, shout, I believe it. I believe it. In Jesus' name. In Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. I want you to pray. Lord, help me to know my open doors. I need to know them. After knowing them, help me to access those doors. Help me to enter into before, before you pray, before you pray, go to any company. You discover there is a door that is written no unauthorized. The other door is even written no entry. But there are certain people who enter that door. Are they not people? There are certain things that you are not enjoying because you are not authorized. After today, you shall enter those doors that are written for your family unauthorized. In your family, there are doors which are written. No entry. But others are entering. You are the first one to enter those doors. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus. I want you to make a prayer. Lord, help me to locate these doors. Help me to enter through these doors. Open your mouth and pray that prayer. Lord, help me to locate Just pray that prayer. In the name of Jesus. You need help to me, enter Father, to see into those doors. Not only to see them, but also to enter those doors. Re-blame Even those doors, my Father, which you have written and authorized for me. Father, this battle is not family, our battle. battle. This battle In is your battle, Lord. Help us, O oh Lord, to identify these doors. We are blind, O oh Lord. Open up our eyes. We cannot see, Lord. Open up our eyes. We need to enter into these doors, Lord God Almighty. Our families have been told no entry, but after today, Lord, we need to enter into these doors. Our children, Lord, must not struggle to enter into these doors. Doors of prosperity. We are stuck in this room of poverty. We need to enter into those levels in the name of Jesus Christ. Levels of pro prosperity, levels of promotion. Open up our doors of prosperity, Lord. We need to identify the doors of our promotion, Lord. We need to identify the doors of our breakthroughs, Lord. Pray, 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 pray unto the Lord. Lord, let it happen according to your time. Let it happen according to your time. Prasa prosha di kataraba mege de prese de ketia ziba da broso di asha katarakate. In Jesus' mighty name, shout a loud Amen. Amen. Shout a